If you're not watching this, you're not watching good anime right now. This is also another one, Delicious in Dungeon. It's just come out. It's on Netflix. Apparently, the dub is really good. So if you're a dub fan, watch it. Okay, give me a genre that you guys really love, and I'll give you a recommendation for an anime real quick. Give me any genre. I will, I will recommend you something that you'll fall in love with. Uh... More, the more specific, the better, because then I can find something that will ta be tailored towards you. Old, new, whatever. Comedy. You have a couple choices here. Uh, I would recommend you have Spy Family. You have uh, Kaguya Summer, Love is War. If you want to go a bit more specific, you have Nietzsche Joy. This is genuinely so funny. This is so, so, so funny. I'm not joking. It's one of the funniest series ever. It's straight up. Just the most insane animation you'll ever see for a comedy. Snooze, how did you get into anime? Uh, I got into anime when I was really young, when I was a kid. Uh, we were watching TV. My first memory, obviously. Watching TV, and then... Only on Toonami. And then... Dragon, dragon. What's your dragon, dragon ball Z? And I saw it, I was like... What the fuck? The first thing I remember was watching Dragon Ball, uh, the uh, cooler movie. So good. So, so good. So what other Isekai anime would you watch? Uh, I wouldn't recommend any Isekai anime because I don't like Isekai. But if you want to watch an Isekai anime more recently, uh, there is one. It's kind of an Isekai. It's called Solo Leveling. It's just dropped and apparently it is very good. So maybe you'll enjoy it. The first two episodes are okay. They're pretty fun. I just don't like Isekai. So if you like Isekai, maybe this is up your alley. Solo leveling, it's got, it, it, the second episode is actually like really fun. It's got some like cool puzzles and stuff like that. That's like super exciting and you're just sort of, you're like, what the fuck's gonna happen? It's actually very cool. It's a Korean webtoon translated into anime. So that's exciting. But yeah, I would recommend this. Heavenly Delusion, the shit had me near tears. Incredible. Uh, another one. And by the way, this also falls under fantasy. So yes, 100%, I would recommend this. Ranking of Kings, this shit had me crying in the second episode i am serious this had me tears i was straight up bawling i after the end of the first episode i looked to i looked to someone on my right and i was just like bro this show's gonna get me after the first episode i was like this show's gonna get me after the end of the second episode it got me but right here kinks perfect example of having some of the best side cast i've ever seen what's an isekai an isekai is typically an isekai is like a portal to another world but it typically translates to jumping into a video game world or vice versa the pressing anime need to watch that okay if you want to see something that would genuinely break your heart heavenly delusion is is fucking one to go uh season one th this shit is beautiful this shit is just straight up incredible if you want to see something that's like really fucked up uh Devil man, cry baby. Very depressing, very fucked up. Only eight episodes, 20 minutes each. Very, very good. Give me a good sports anime. Haikyuu is the typical one. I've only watched like the f uh, a couple of episodes, so I'm not very far in, but I did really enjoy what I saw. A lot of people are saying it's incredible. I still can't believe that Google spoiled one of my favorite Hunter Hunter characters' deaths. Uh, be very careful in which who you say. I am sorry that you got spoiled, but Hunter Hunter is a goaded fucking series. I would recommend it to every single person in the world. Everyone should watch Hunter. It is the best. My my top favorite series is, in no particular order, is Hunter, Kingdom, Dragon Ball, One Piece. Those are my top favorites. And probably like Full Metal is up there as well. Fuck IQ, give me some real shit. But the thing is, I don't watch many sports anime. So I really wouldn't be able to say. I'm trying to think right now. Just bear with. Uh, can I recommend the dodgeball sequence in Hunter? Can I say that? Rankio Kings, Heavenly Delusion, or Devil Man Cry Baby? Uh, I would recommend Heavenly Delusion because it is also incredible. It's very recent. Then Ranking of Kings. I would be perfectly cool with you watching either or. The reason why I would recommend Heavenly Delusion is because it would be a very different experience. It wouldn't be fantasy. It's like a sci-fi. It's a very unique sci-fi. And so I, I think it would be cool for someone who's not very used to anime watching something that's very different with what, two of the best protagonists I've seen in recent years. They're so great. Oh, oh, can I actually recommend the anime that everyone should watch? Chainsaw Man is the best manga at the moment. It's the best manga that's still currently going on, as well as uh, it's got my favorite season of television. I would recommend watching it if you also want to read it. It's an incredible manga. Part two right now, I think, is better than part one. 
And I can't, I, I really would love to make a video explaining why I feel that way. I think that'd be really cool. Opinion on Death Note, incredible. Obviously the second half isn't as strong as the first half, but the second half is still very, very good. Also for real though, Kagurabashi is actually pretty good. Only 16 chapters, uh, uh, chapters as of now. And I like the stereotypical shonen. I actually don't think it's very stereotypical. I think they've done a great job at like spicing it up. Like obviously it's not a unique story, but like I love the greeniness of its action scenes. I actually think it's a very, very pretty looking manga. Uh, and I really do like the characters. Like, the main characters, he's a little stale right now, but that's fine. Everything else is great. Oh my god, everyone should watch Mob Psycho. Please watch this anime. Please watch Mob Psycho. I'm giving a lot. I'm giving a lot. Spice it up. Vary it. This shit, peak fiction. This shit is one of the most incredible series ever. I want a romance anime. Sorry, bro, you don't get it. <laughs> I typically don't fall in love with romances that much. I will, however, say that Furin right now has one of the cutest romances recently. Uh, I typically don't love many romances because I typically don't find romance animes to be very interesting. I like my romance in an anime, less so that I want to watch an anime because of romance. Rose fangirling over Furin. It's so good. It's such a great series. Apothecary Diaries. People are loving this. People are absolutely loving this. What was your thoughts? Oh, my thoughts on solo leveling. I'm only an anime viewer. I I don't know much about the webtoon other than, you know, very few things. Uh, my opinion on it is that the first two episodes, the first episode feels very weird. I don't understand why that was the first step. Um, it felt like it should have been connected. It should have been like one 48 minute episode because the second episode is actually like very strong. It's a very fun um series of things it's got a bit of puzzle elements it's got a bit of horror to it i think it showcases a lot of really strong aspects in that in uh, the series that i hope continues if it continues to go down that route i'll end up loving it probably so we'll see i can't say too much about it but i did really really enjoy that second episode the first episode is very weak i think this series is going to be one of those things where once we reach a certain point that's where the series is going to really either click with me or just completely put me off it is partially an isekai, so I am 50-50 on that. Uh, I know it's not an exact isekai, but it is partially one, so I, I, I'm I, I'm a little hesitant to say the least, but I'll see. I'll see, I'll see. I'm a manga only most of the time. Okay, that's fair. Right now, if I, I, if I could be real, if I could be real, Chainsaw Man is the best in every category that I've listed so far. If you want a slice of life, Chainsaw Man. If you want action, Chainsaw Man. If you want the best side characters, Chainsaw Man. If you want the saddest, most depressing scenes ever, Chainsaw Man. Both anime and manga. <laughs> is Full Metal Alchemist still worth watching? Uh, if Full Metal Alchemist is not still worth watching, Full Metal Alchemist is mandatory viewing. Uh, um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is mandatory viewing. And I'm not saying that as in like, mm -hmm, you need to watch it. I'm saying it as in like, oh my God, Full Metal Alchemist to this day, is still one of my favorites of all time. If you want something more modern, more recent, and you want to see what the recent landscape of anime is, these are the ones that I would recommend that you go through. Vrin, Heavenly Delusion, uh, Ranking of Kings, and Chainsaw Man are the four anime and or manga I recommend everyone get to. Just enjoy yourselves, watch it, you'll have the time of your life. And then if you want something that's a little older, a little uh, like as in, hey, I want to see what, what the GOAT was, Cowboy Bebop is another one. Another anime I would recommend. I just, re like, it's so obvious. It's like everyone's already seen it. Attack on Titan. Uh, Attack on Titan is one of those things where I feel like anyone would enjoy it. People describe it as the Game of Thrones of anime, which I think is like really annoying way of describing it, but I can understand why they use it. Uh, another great one is Vinland Saga. If you want a... Uh, historical fiction that is genuinely just incredible obviously it, and this isn't to say that these are the best animes ever but i think most people would love them a lot of people treat watching anime like it's supposed to be a chore and not what it actually is which is entertainment it's supposed to be fun and so if you don't have fun with it take a break take your time enjoy yourself i never want you to feel like whenever i bring up fern you need to feel compelled to finish it right like take your time with it enjoy yourself right it, that's what stories are for like i hate a lot of people's recommendations for anime um first time watchers especially because they treat it like you have to pick the weird ones it's perfectly okay to recommend to a non-anime fan one piece they'll probably like it 
they'll probably really like it. The only reason you probably shouldn't though is because it's a thousand plus episodes. But once again, if you just establish, hey, you don't need to watch a thousand episodes straight, you could just watch it in one piece if you want to. It takes away that sort of stress. I think if someone's like, hey, I really like Pirates of the Caribbean, I really want more pirate stuff, you should be able to go, hey, you probably like One Piece. One Piece is incredible. It's it's amazing. And then they go, ah, it's a thousand episodes. I'm not watching a thousand episodes. You go, okay, cool. You don't need to watch it all in one go. You can watch it in split, but that's perfectly fine. If you don't want to watch a thousand episodes or something, uh, may I recommend Brun? May I recommend, uh, you know, the, the most classic example, which is fucking Cabo Bebop. May I, may I recommend that? You'll love it. But yeah, uh, I, I, hope, I hope you guys enjoy this conversation. Uh, th we'll wrap up uh, in regards to that. Feel free to ask me. I'm just going to be playing the game in the meanwhile. So feel free to ask me more questions about this. I find it very fascinating.